Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a dark drill beat for someone like Heady One, Abracadabra, and Band OK. They just dropped the latest single, Can't Be Us, which is trending number one on YouTube right now, so I figured it's something you'd all want to learn. And yo, I still see a few people asking where my Grease drill kit is. It's the kit I've been using in pretty much every video for the past few months, and it's included in my vault bundle, so if you've missed that before, then I've left a link to it in the description. And also, for anyone who missed it previously, the drill production course is officially back out so if you want to learn everything i know about drill production and just making beats in general then check the link in the description for that too but yo let's get into the video Okay, so I want to create a similar vibe, but I don't just want to straight up copy the melody. So I could use similar sounds and a similar BPM, maybe even a similar chord progression, but things need to be switched up. So for the main instrument, I'm going to use Mallet Flux in Contact and the keys in C minor, so I'm going to stick to that. And we'll just start by drawing in some chords. But we'll bring them out a bit too, and maybe invert these. Okay, so that could work. And then we'll come down to G. It's basically a 1 5 progression. Now, what I'm hearing is this actually coming down. So, I want to use that as the main melody, but I also want to put some half time on it. I'm just going to randomize the velocity a bit. And because we made that change, the key is now actually G minor. And then before I add any counter melodies, I just want to try something. So I'm going to render this out and then I'm going to reverse it, bring it in time. I can also just chop it and then I'm going to rearrange them. And this is just going to fill in some space. And then with these ones, I'm going to bring them down an octave. I'm also going to throw some kickstart on that bottom layer and this will just give it some movement. And then on the first one, I want to throw some crystallizer on. Just about there. And then I'll copy the main mallet and see if I can just think of some kind of count melody. So we could do something like this. And then I think they both need some reverb. Then on the lower one, I'm going to add some half time and just bring back the mix. Just give it a little bottom layer. Okay, and I want to see if I can get it sounding a bit more interesting. So I'm going to take those chords and then find a different instrument to layer them with. Oh, this one sounds crazy. Maybe without the crystallizer though. Okay, and another instrument that sounds like is in the beat is Gypsy Romantic Violin. I know tons of producers have used this, but it still sounds sick and I haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna record something in. So I'm just gonna bring some a little bit off. Everything else sounds pretty natural. Nice and catchy. Okay, and I'm just layering those chords one more time with some more bells in Analog Lab. Okay, so from here, I've linked everything to an instrument boss. I've added Sound Shifter, and I'm gonna see if a different key sounds better. Actually, sounds hard up one, but I think it needs to be darker. Maybe there, you know. Yeah, I think down one. I'm just gonna add a little bit of RC22. And then lastly, I can just cut out some lows, save room for the bass. All right, let's go for a count snare. Maybe this one. I will use a MIDI from my Hazy Hi-Hat MIDI's kit. Yeah, something like this. Now for the snare, let's go for this trappish one. And 
then just switch the ending up here. And I'm just layering it with this 100k snare, but I'm going to tighten it up. Alright, for the 8-way, I'm going to go with the Rider one. It's just gritty sounding. And remember, we pitched it down one, so the first note's going to be B. Here we can add a few more slides. I'm gonna add another higher pitch count snare and this one's just to add like a bit of a perk. And with that second one, I'm just gonna use Pan Mine to pan it. Bring down the mix a bit. All right, the last thing I think it needs is just a couple rises and other effects. And then the second one can be this. As always, I'm going to reverse this one. Plan is to just include this in enough beats that people recognize it as a signature sound. But let's use it at the end. And then maybe some drum fill there too. See if this one works. I've just started working on some new drum fills. I'm going to include this stomp somewhere, but not after every 8 bar. And then maybe just something like this here. And then we could just add some delay to that. Something like this just sounds a bit different. All right, cool. I don't think I need to add any more than this, so I'm just going to start arranging it. So we can copy this out a few times. And then, yeah, we can just start it simple. All right, so I'm thinking it could start like this. And then in this section, I'm hearing a sub bass. Okay, and I think the violin in the intro can just come down an octave. Or even the whole thing, let's just try that. And then in this section here, I can bring the bottom landlets out. All right, yeah, in this section, take the pad out and the bottom layer of the mallet. And then when it gets to the verse, we can start docking a few things out. And I think as always, I'll have two separate eight weight patterns. Okay, so when it gets to the verse, I want to leave a lot of space. So I'm taking out the violin, maybe the pad. Or maybe even just leave the pads in. Let's try this. I can bring these second mallets over. Yes, and then we cut the kick here. Bad. Alright, so I think everything sounds alright there. I'm just alternating these fills. And then I think in this section, we can just bring this little bridge back in, but down out too. Alright, so from here, let's just copy everything over. Alright, let's listen from the beginning. Okay, so we're starting with everything down octave. So it's like a 16 bar intro. And then the violin comes down, but again, down octave. Introducing the count snare too. 
I like to hear a little pre-hook when I do stuff like this. And then for the hook. So obviously everything's back up active. I think this beat came out hard. And then just to add my movement, we've got the bottom layer of the mallets. And then for the verse. So in this bit, it's like all the energy dips, but there's just tons of space for eyes. Okay, someone will go crazy on this beat. So yeah, we just brought the bottom mallets back in. And then that repeats. Might even cut that eight weight. Okay, and then straight back to the bridge. This is just the same as the intro without this section.